Hey everybody and welcome to this GIMP tutorial. Before we get started, I just want to remind you if you want to send in photos for me to edit, go ahead and feel free to send them to this email address here on the screen right now. I love seeing the pictures that you guys come up with. You are all incredibly creative people. If you send in a photo, make sure to go ahead and leave your name, a little information about the photo, maybe your Instagram or Twitter handle so that people can follow you as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This photograph obviously is very similar to one that we did in the previous tutorial. I've gone ahead and just added in kind of the, the same portal effect that we had done before. But what I'm wanting is I'm wanting everything past this step to be blurry. And hopefully that will give a depth of field effect. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that we can do is hit Control Shift D to duplicate our image. And then what I want to do is grab the clone brush. And the clone brush is super important because what we're going to do is we're going to be blurring the background. But if we just blur it, then the things that should be in focus will blur into the things that are not, that shouldn't be in focus. So what I'm going to do is with the clone brush selected, I'm going to use the bracket keys and get a larger clone brush. And then I'm going to click in my image and I'm just, oh, let's go ahead and change the force back up to 100 here. I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around. And every once in a while, I'm going to need to go ahead and change the position of the clone brush. So let's just keep going. And this doesn't matter too much because this doesn't matter too much because what's going to happen here is we're going to be putting the crisp version of myself over the blurry version. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing a clone brush around me. Okay, so now you can see that I've actually just kind of painted around uh, my shoulders and arms and around kind of the edges here. But I didn't have to do anything that would be in focus in the, in the final image. So the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and with our top image, the image that we cloned, selected, go up and hit filters and blur and Gaussian blur. And let's go ahead and take that up to something that seems appropriate. I'm thinking something around eight looks about good for what we're going to be trying to achieve and then click OK. And then let's go ahead and bring that image down underneath the original image. Next, let's hit F on our keyboard to bring up the lasso tool. And then let's just zoom in hitting shift and the plus key. And let's go ahead and just trace very roughly around myself. And of course, I don't have to worry too much here about about around my feet because that's going to be in focus anyway. I'm going to hit shift plus to zoom in and then hold down control to subtract. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract away this area too. We don't want this to look too amateurish. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to select my top image, which is the one that hasn't been blurred, and click on adding a layer mask and click on black and click add and then go ahead and choose our paint bucket and make sure we have the color white selected and click inside and there you go. Uh, now we have a blurry background and of course uh, I am in focus but now we've run into a problem which is there's a lot of there's a lot of this image that is out of focus that should be in focus. So let's fix that. Everything that we paint with white using our paintbrush tool is going to be in focus. And right now, just myself and the mirror is selected. So to fix that, let's hit Control and I. And Control I inverts the selection. So now everything except for me is selected. Let's go ahead and grab our paintbrush tool by hitting P and then increase the size to something pretty big. Yeah, something like uh, almost a thousand. And now I'm just going to paint white across the bottom here. And you can see that I've, that that's brought everything there back in focus. But that's actually a little too much in focus. So I'm gonna hit Control Z and try that a little bit lower and Control Shift A. And there we go. So we've gone ahead and added depth of field. I hope that this has been a helpful tutorial. If it has, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.